substitution. So in this uh, in this we just saw that all the unsaturated hydrocarbons. So which type of reactions are performed by the unsaturated hydrocarbons? Addition reactions. Addition reactions and which type of reactions are performed by the saturated hydrocarbons? Substitution or elimination reactions. So for the saturated ones, it is either substitution or elimination. Yes. And for unsaturated, it is addition reaction where we saw addition of hydrogen. We did about the addition of hydrogen in that. Now, uh, today we will do some functional groups. Functional groups we will do today. So, in the last class, do you remember that we had done nomenclature of the carbon compounds? Yes, sir. Okay, so over there, we had done the nomenclature of the carbon compounds. In the nomenclature, I told you the numberings. I told you meth. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we did 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, what is the name given if the parent chain contains one carbon? Meth. Meth. Methane. 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 Sorry. Okay. So, it's meth. For two, it's eth. And for three? Prop. Prop. Okay. For four? Bute. Bute. For five? Pent. Pent and for six hex hex for seven hept hept for eight oct oct for nine it's non and for ten it's dec. Okay. Then we also talked of in the last class we also talked of structural isomers. We talked there something of structural isomers. So, what were structural isomers? Yeah, Dhruv. Sir? Yeah, Dhruv, what are structural isomers? So it's a compound that has multiple uh, structural, like has multiple structures. Multiple structures. Okay. And uh, can you just clarify more? So, sir, it's like when a carbon compound has multiple ways of being uh, represented structurally, like okay, you can have multiple, like sometimes compounds can have double bonds, single bonds. Okay. There's the same molecular answer? formula but different structure. Yeah, they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So, can anyone uh, write the isomers of today? Of? What? I want you people to write the isomers of butane. Okay, sir. Okay. So, write down all the isomers of butane. Uh, just wait. Keep on writing. Uh, Silasia and Rene. 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 Uh, Rene, are you there? Rene. 
Trilasya, are you there? Okay, so I can't switch on the mic at the moment. Okay, Rene, uh, try to do, if you are able to do it, so then inform. Trilasya, what about you? And your camera is also off. You have to sub keep your cameras on, everyone. I shouldn't be uh, telling you. Okay, Subha, Charvi. Srilasa, you are not responding and even your camera is off. Are you there? So if it's not working, you should first inform in the feedback group over there. Mehak, Mehak, what's the formula of butane? Chemical formula of butane. So C four H ten. C four H ten, and how many isomers have you written for butane? So can I show you? Okay. Uh, how many? Just tell how many you have written. It's fourteen. 14 structures. Yes. Okay, just uh, show it to me. Mm. Uh, how say, how you say 14? This is one of them. This is one structure. How many similar, how many structures can you make for it? I didn't get your question. See, isomers, uh, isomers are the compounds which have same structural formula, so uh, same molecular formula, but different structural formula, right? So these are the compounds which have same structural, uh, same molecular formula. So with the molecular formula C4H10, how many structures can be made? Like uh, this one is possible. I can write this as these are four carbon atoms which can be joined together with single bonds. And these are the hydrogen atoms. You have 10 hydrogen atoms which have been joined over to this. So this is C4H10. Uh, two isomer, uh, two only, we can do only two. Yes, okay, this only two. Okay, this is one of it. Then you can make the other one like this. You can make carbon over here and then write all the hydrogen. So, how many such structures you can make? Mahak, are you getting? Yes, sir, I got it. I was being finished. Okay. So, is there any other structure which is possible? Tanishka? So, the second isomer, sir, like, how do we name it, sir? Like, 2, comma 1 butane. Uh, the second one. How do we name it, sir? Okay. So, for, for that, I told you, you will be first selecting your parent chain. And parent chain should consist of longest chain of carbon atom. So, what is the longest chain of carbon atoms? The first one, like the three carbon atoms. Okay. So, I can take this one as the longest chain. Then I have to start numbering. Okay, so I can start numbering either from here or from here. So I start numbering from here 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So there are just 3 carbon atoms. So its parent name should be prop and not but. Okay. It's in the parent carbon. There are just 3 carbon atoms. Parent gene. So it should parent name should be prop with all of them at single bond. So it should be propane 
but we have a um, CH3 at the second carbon. So the CH3 at the second carbon, in the last class I told you something about this, that CH3, it is called methyl. as a methyl group, not methane, it is called methyl. Okay. And it is attached to the second carbon, so we call it as 2-methylpropane. Yes, sir. So, sir, okay. like, uh, can we name it like uh, something else, sir? Like 2, 1 butane? No, because no, no. on the second uh, carbon, there's a branch chain. No, no. This is IUPAC nomenclature. You have a common, no, com, in the common, common name, it is something isobutyl. Okay, so we are not okay. doing the common names. We are doing IUPAC names. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So in the in, in over there you will see uh, there is N butane, there is isobutane. So is it necessary to write two in front of the name? Like... Yeah, it, it is necessary and it represents at which carbon it is substituted. Okay. okay. So okay, now try it. Uh, I think everyone has understood how to write uh, write down the structural formulas. So now start writing for C five H C five H twelve. Start writing for C five H twelve and just see how many structural formulas you can make. Sir, we can make three isomers. That's it. Okay, so you have made three. Okay, let's see others also. How many they are able to make? Uh, Srilasya, are you available? Okay, just wait. You have to make for C5H12. Just uh, prepare it for C5H12. Okay, Mahek, how many have you made? Sir, I made three. Okay, uh, can you show? Yes, sir. Monish? Yes, sir. How many you have made? Sir, I'm still making one. Okay, so how many have you done? Sir, only one. I'm just making it. Okay, do it. If you're not getting, so I'll sort that out. Shreyasi? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, how many? Three, sir. Sir, I'm showing you. Okay. Just wait. Oh, okay, just wait. Wait, man, for one minute. Okay, this is one, two, the last one is the same one for the same as the second one. Sir, can I show, sir? Yeah. This is CH3. Okay, these are three isomers which you have made. Okay, are there any other which are possible? No, sir. And no, no sir, it's not possible, sir. Or is the certified? 
the balance sheet will not be satisfied, sir. Okay. Sir, can you see now? Okay. Sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir, is it like uh, compulsory Mahat to make branches in like one of the middle uh, carbons only, or like we can put it in the end also the branches? If you can put, if you will put the branch in the end, it will be okay. Mahak, you have made two, and where is the first one? Can you show the first one? Okay, so it's correct now. Mahak, now it's correct. Yes, Shreyasi. Sir, I was asking, sir, like uh, instead of putting the branches in like one of the middle carbon, sir, why not we put it in the end, sir? Like why can not we do that? Okay, so you are you are asking that if, if we put the branch in this in the last one, so it will be counted in the parent chain only, and it will remain the same. Unmute yourself. Unmute first. Uh, Say, see, unmute. Yeah, right, sir, right, sir. Sir, uh, then we can make more than three isomers for pentane, right, sir? Okay. Just wait. Uh, I'm sure I'm telling you what you are uh, thinking of. Wait for it. Uh, Danunjay, show yours. Danunjay and Dhru. Okay, so Danunjay. Okay, this is pentane. Two methyl butane. And two two dimethyl propane. Okay. Okay, fine. So I think most of you have got it. Or uh, who has Drew has not shown Drew? Sure, I'm still doing. I've only done one. Rene, have you done? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll show it. Hmm. Fine. So I think everyone knows now how to make up these uh, structural formulas. Okay. So let's see what uh, Shreyasi was asking. Okay, Shreyasi, what, uh, what was your doubt now? See, you are making this as C5 like this. You make C5. Okay. C5. And here it will be CH3, this will be CH2, 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 and CH3. You can write it as CH3, CH2, CH3. Oh, sorry. Okay, this will be your CH2 and here you have CH3, here you can have CH3. Is CH only. So this is one of them. Or you can make this. CH3, C. CH3, CH3, CH3. This is, uh, these are the isomers which are possible. Tanishka, uh, were you able to do all of them? Yes, sir, but I have a question too. Why are we not putting them to the side? Because I uh, made another one and the balance is correct. Okay, so okay, how did you make the other one? Just show it. Sir, I'm not sure if it's completely correct, but then when I counted the hydrogens, it was correct. So I'll just show it to you right now. Okay, uh, show it. Show it. If you know where you have gone wrong. Sir, okay. Is okay, okay, okay. See, this is uh, yours. Uh, what we have drawn in the first one. Sir, but then doesn't the parent chain consist of only three carbons? No, here, here parent chain consists of five carbons. 
This is the same. So, sir, if it's towards the end, sir, the total parent chain, it will be counted, sir. Yeah, it yes, will sir. Be so, see, yeah. Uh, See, uh, this is these are the three isomers, right? And if you think that we can um, have something like this, let's see. You think we can have this uh, CH3, uh, CH2, CH2, and CH2. And from here, can we make a branch like this as CH3? So here we will uh, we will count this as the parent chain. Your parent chain will counting will start from here. This will be your parent chain then. Okay. So these were uh, for four, and if you have CH two and again make here CH three, it's a parent chain of five carbon atoms. It's not branching then. And okay, fine. And this should. Okay. Got it. So done. Okay, now I think the isomers we have understood, we shall move on to the nomenclature which we were doing with the functional groups, right? So I started uh, you about functional groups. These are some group of functional groups. These are groups of atoms. Atoms or groups of atoms. So what are functional groups? They are atoms or groups of atoms so which are added to hydrocarbons. So basically to the hydrocarbon, like we had seen alkane, alkene and alkyne. So if to those hydrocarbons, you have some other elements added or group of elements, a group of atoms added. So then they are called as functional groups. For example, in the parent chain, if any of these halogens is added, suppose if I add any of the halogens, which are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine if any of them are added so the name will change and this will be called as a functional group over there the functional will group will be fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine okay, it will be a halogen functional group and accordingly its name will change for example suppose if you have this c and you have one chlorine on it so you have hydrogen hydrogen and there is one chlorine bonded to it so its name will change instead of this here we have a chlorine group so a prefix will be added like chloro so it will be chloroethane before the parent name is parent name is ethane so its name will remain the same rather only a prefix will be added chloro so what will it be if there will be bromine Yeah, if it is bromine, so what should be its name? Like I have CH3, CH2, CL, uh, BR. So its name should be? Bromoethane. Bromoethane. Okay. Then it will be bromoethane. And what will be the name of this? Suppose if you have CH2BR then CH2Br. What should be its name? Dibromoethane. Yeah, it will be dibromoethane. And rather I will call it as 1,2-dibromoethane. As first bromine is connected on 
first carbon and the second one on the second carbon. So CH, so it is 1 to dibromoethane. Okay, got it? So I think you can name with the functional groups uh, halogens. If any of them which contains the functional group halogen, so it will be named accordingly. It will be prefixed with the word halo. We are going to add the word halo, like chloro, bromo, iodo. In that way, it will be added up. Okay. The second one we see as the hydroxy group or alcohol groups. Alcohol or we call it as hydroxy group. It's represented as OH, single bond OH. So it will always form single bond with the carbon chain. And it, these are alcohols. Okay. So like if you see C, let me make three hydrogen and one OH group. So there is a OH group which is extra added to these hydrocarbons. So what name will I give it? Its parent name is meth and everywhere between all the carbon atoms there is single bond. So it will be methane. If there was no OH, so its name would have been methane. And to name this OH, we remove the terminal E. We remove the terminal E and we write it as methanol. Write OL. Add OL to it. Okay. So what should be the name of this? CH3, CH2OH. What name should be given to this? Ethanol. Ethanol. RNA. Yes, sir. Okay, are you getting? Kind of. I have to look back in the class video that I missed. Okay, so no need to look, uh, you will look, look back later, but just continue with it. Whatever we are doing, continue with it. Okay, so like uh, just I told you, uh, with the, the if you have the parent chain as one carbon, so it will be meth. If the parent chain has two carbon, it will be eth. If the parent chain has three carbon, it will be prop, so so on. Okay, that is what we are doing here. Okay. Monish, are you getting? Yes, sir, I'm getting. Okay. So, okay, can you draw the structure for propanol? Draw the structure for propanol. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Srilasya, now your mic is working. Yes, sir. Okay, what had happened? You are not responding. Sir, my earphones are not working. Yeah, you had a Sir, not able to hear you properly. So everyone was able to hear. And not only once, I call it around five to six times. Okay, propanol. This should be the structure of the propanol. If you have drawn, it should be CH3, CH2, CH2OH. Okay. Now, if you see for ethanol, we are mainly concerned with ethanol. Our main concern is ethanol. Okay. 
and this is the alcohol which we use in the beverage uh, which we use in the alcoholic drinks it is ethanol which is used in the alcoholic drinks not methanol not propanol ethanol is used it is used in alcoholic drinks main constituent of it you can say ethanol is the main constituent of alcoholic drinks and if you see this formula, it can also be written like this, C2H5OH. It can be written like this also. CH3CH2OH, it can be written as C2H5OH also. Or somewhere, in very rare cases, it is written like this, C2H6O. This is very rare. You will find this. C2H6O. Okay. But mostly it will be written either CH3CH2OH or C2H5OH. Okay. So, nomenclature of a hydroxyl group or alcohols is clear. Everyone now you can name them. Methanol, it is poisonous. If you drink methanol, it is poisonous. Okay. Propanol, so methanol is not fit for drinking. Generally, if you observe all the methanol, it is used uh, for the denaturation of the alcohol. Denaturation means it is made, the alcohols are made unfit for drinking purposely sometimes. So, that is by adding methanol to it. Then the next one is carbonyl group. In the carbonyl group, you have two. Okay. In the carbonyl group, you have first one as the aldehyde group. You have aldehydes and ketones. They together are called as carbonyl group. So, how they are added? They are added. They have this structure C double bond O and C. Okay. So, this is the carbonyl group. In the aldehydes, they are something like this. C double bond O and one of the bonds is added with hydrogen. So, it becomes aldehyde. As you can see, carbon can form four bonds. So, two bonds of this carbon, they are made with oxygen and the other two bonds the other two bonds, uh, they are single. They can be attached anywhere. In the aldehydes, one of these carbon, it is attached with hydrogen. So, this is your aldehyde. We also write it like this, CHO group. We also call it as CHO group, aldehydes. Okay. For the ketones, manan, manan, Yes, sir. Okay, so are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay, what is the functional group for alcohols? Sir? Functional group for alcohols? Sir, what is the Hydroxyl. Yeah, what, uh, so what is the formula of that group? Sir, I don't know. So... Uh... You are not concentrating. We have, we have done that. Okay. Who will tell? The formula of the alcohol group. Single bond OH. Single bond OH. And how do we name them? By adding all as a... OL. OL. By removing E and adding OL. Okay. Remove E from the terminal and add OL. For the aldehydes, the naming is something like this. You remove the E and add AL. Here we add the word AL. Okay. And we also count this carbon in the parent chain. The carbon of the aldehyde is also counted in the parent chain. Okay. Like you can have this H, C, double bond O, and H. So, what name uh, we will give to this? 
as you can see here this is the cho group okay and how many how many carbon atoms are there one one methanol so, yeah it should be methane okay and drop the drop e from the last from the last you drop your e add al so it should be methanol Okay. Uh, can you uh, draw the structure for ethanol? Draw the structure for ethanol. There should be two carbon atoms. Total of two carbon atoms should be there. Sir? Yes. Sir, where is aldehydes used? Aldehydes where they are used. Okay, I'll tell one of the uses. Like uh, methanol, it is also called, its co solution is called as formaldehyde or it is called as formalin. This is your formaldehyde. Okay. It is used as a preservative for biological specimen. Okay, so Srelasya, just wait. Uh, okay, this is ethanol. Okay, it's correct. CH3, CHO. Fine. <clears throat> okay, anyone else who has completed? Uh, no, there are three carbon atoms. Shasi, count, there are three carbon atoms. We also count yes, the three carbon. Three carbon atoms. Sir. Yeah, there are three. We need, uh, we count only the carbon. We also count the carbon of the aldehyde group. That is also counted. Yes, sir, I did, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. Like the C, I was like mistakenly I made O, sir. So it looks like C. Show, show, it, show it once. Yes, sir. So still there are three, uh, uh, three C. Count down. Count there are three C. You are CH3, CH2, CHO. You are getting formula CH3, CH2, CHO. Sir, we were supposed to make ethanol or propanol. Ethan ethanol. Okay, right, sir. And you have also written ethanol. Right, sir, yes, sir. I just noticed that. So, anyone else who has completed? We add the double oxygen bond to one carbon, right? Yeah, just yeah. one carbon. And that should be the terminal carbon only. Okay, sir. Okay, it should be the terminal. Rene, have you done? Manan? Manan, yes, have you done? Yes, one second. Okay, show it. Okay. Okay, it's correct, but I draw, I draw the proper structure. Okay, don't make here and there. Draw it properly. Okay, okay through. Sir, can you check now, sir? Just wait. Okay, Dhruv. 
ध्रुव इट्स करेक्ट इट्स करेक्ट ओके नाउ इट्स करेक्ट श्रेयसी नाउ इट्स करेक्ट रेने यू हैव नॉट शोन सिमिलर थिंग बट ओवर हेयर यू विल बी यूजिंग कार्बोनिल ग्रुप एस सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड okay so see in the case of ketones it's like this but the this carbon is attached medha anthony medha anthony okay so here uh, this carbon is attached to on both the sides you will have a terminal carbon only this is what is your ketone group but on both the sides you should have only carbon here also you should have a carbon and here also you should have a carbon only the chain can be more longer there is no restriction but on both sides of this carbon there should be a carbon only you should have only carbon and carbon at both the sides so so it cannot be made with two carbons right cannot be made with two carbons and it can be made with a minimum of three carbon only okay sir so the simplest ketone that we can make simplest ketone we can make is this c c c double bond o okay then here we have ch3 here also we have ch3 so this is what we can make as the simplest hydrocarbon and this simplest hydrocarbon what name can will it uh, will it have from the parent drop e and add o n e like there are three carbon atoms so it its name should have been propane right but to get the uh, to get the substance to get the name you have to remove this terminal e and add o n e propanone so its name is propanone this is iupac name its iupac name is propanone and its common name its common name is acetone acetone the one you use at your home which is your nail polish remover that acetone is your uh, propanone so today we have done this we are left with just one just see that one also the last one these are carboxylic acids carboxylic acids and these carboxylic acids they contain the functional group c double bond o and here you have an oh group so it's something like this if combined together you can write it as c o o h this is how we write you do not write it as c o 2 h no we write it as c o o h okay these are carboxylic acids and they are named by adding oic acid at the end oic acid so we will try to make here methanoic acid we will make methanoic acid and ethanoic acid okay 
your methanoic acid is H C and on this carbon it should be C O O H. So this is your methanoic acid. Can you make ethanoic acid? Draw ethanoic acid. Done, sir. Done. So just check it out from here. It should be CH3, C double bond O, OH. Okay. Or you will write it as CH3, COOH. This is ethanoic acid. It's also acetic acid. Right? Yeah. Its common name is acetic acid. And it is a constituent of vinegar. Ethanoic acid or acetic acid, it is a constituent of vinegar. Okay, so see, uh, just a quick revision with whatever we have done. I think all of you have understood what all things we have done. Sir, so what will be the formula of methanoic acid? Methanoic acid, H-C-O-O-H. Okay. okay, we have made here and it will be written as H-C-O-O-H. So this C-O-O-H, it's written together. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. So just have a quick revision of what all things we have done together. We have done halogens. Okay. They are your either fluoride, chloride, bromide, or iodide. But how they are named? They are named with the word halo. That means they will be named as chloro, fluoro, iodo, bromo. This is how they will be named. Then we have done alcohols or hydroxyl group, hydroxy group. So, they have the formula OH and they are named with the, uh, by adding OL at the end. Then we did aldehydes. They have the formula CHO where we write them as C double bond OH. So, this is CHO group. They are named by adding AL. Then we did ketones with the formula C double bond O again bond. So this is a ketone and we name it by O and E. This alcohols, aldehydes, ketones and you have carboxylic acids. OOH and they are C double bond OOH. Their name is added by making oic, oic acid at the end. Like you can make here methanoic acid, propanoic acid. So you have addition of oic acid at the end. Okay. So I think everyone has understood about the nomenclature. So, uh, try some of the compounds uh, to name them. Okay. 
and also uh, with uh, you have to take examples from one, two, three, and four carbon atoms. Try making their structures if it is possible. Okay. Okay. Bye, everyone. Uh, good night and see you all in the next class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.